Hi guys, welcome back. So this channel is pretty much all about pro-aging, and that just means feeling confident as we get older. So I am 52, I feel 32, and I probably look about 42, maybe a little less sometimes if I'm having a really good day. But what I have learned is that as I get older and I'm in those menopausal years, there's a lot of change that comes along with it. And this channel has really, over the past two and a half years, opened me up to a lot of new things I never would have known about. So from things like anti-aging devices, as they are called, um, I've done a deep dive and I'm totally hooked on other things that kind of help slow down time, maybe turn it back a little bit if you can, to things like makeup techniques. Now for me, I've never really been a makeup gal and I've enjoyed the past couple of years getting to dabble a bit more and learn a bit more. It's never about covering up. It's not about trying to pretend that I don't have wrinkles, which I do. It's about trying to enhance what I already have. Then there are other things like like supplements. I wasn't taking regular supplements until literally probably within the past year, but as we age, our body needs more stuff because we don't produce it ourselves as much anymore. So that's been a huge eye-opener for me. And then there are things like exercise and diet, like 20, oh my gosh. My dog just got back from the groomers and he seems to be prancing around and making an awful lot of noise right now. <laughs> Jackson, do you want to be on camera? Here's my little fella. He was making an awful lot of noise. We figured that maybe he wanted to make an appearance. This is Jackson. He's my shadow. He did just come back from the groomers, although he's a little drooly, so you wouldn't know it. Right, buddy? Okay, I'm going to put you down now. And this even includes things like exercise and diet. And 2023 has been a big year for me and for us. We've had to make a lot of changes to the diet because, gosh, things just get a lot harder as we age. So there are lots of things that I've been exploring on this channel as a way of helping me age better. What I mean by age better is it makes me feel better. So all of these things that I'm doing, all of these videos I'm making are for me. Everything I do when I get dressed in the morning, the makeup, the hair, the skin is all for me. And while I love dearly the fellow behind the camera, these are things that I do for Mary because they help me feel better about me. And you know, no one else is gonna have a good day <laughs> if I'm not having a good day. I didn't mean that that came out all wrong, but you know what I mean. But one thing I've realized through the menopausal journey that I am on is how important sleep is. And I'm talking good sleep. And I no longer underestimate the power of good sleep and I put a lot of importance on it. And there are certain things that I need in order for that to happen because if I don't get enough sleep, I'm a bear the next day. So for me, it is ritualistic and I am like clockwork. I get seven or eight hours every single night and it's not a pretty night if I don't get it. And I kind of have a recipe for sleep. There are certain things that I need, three things that make at the perfect night's sleep happen, okay? And some of these I've been doing my whole life and some of them are new introductions. The first is I sleep with a fan. Yep, I have my whole life. Growing up in Florida, it was really, really hot and I've always slept with a fan despite someone's constant attempt to make me stop. <laughs> so I have a very nice expensive Dyson fan. It took me a lot of years to get it. It has a very singular stream of air, so hopefully it's just hitting me and no one else. That's number one. Number two is a mask. I sleep with a mask. I am part vampire. I can't sleep without one. If I don't have a mask, I'm not sleeping. The third thing that has really contributed to me getting good sleep now, when I'm right in the throes of menopause, it's hot, it's uncomfortable, is my sleeping position. I sleep on my back. So I've been doing this now for a couple of years and it's taken a while to get to it. Now, why would I do it? Now, I'm not gonna lie. It all started off because of wrinkles. I was getting these really horrible chest wrinkles right here. And you know, first thing I do is Google chest wrinkles, where are these coming from? Well, they're coming from lying on my side for 52 years. That's really where they come from. And they were deep set and they were not going anywhere. So did more Googling, how do I get rid of them? Uh, and the main thing they said, aside from the skincare, and you can do retinoids and all that sort of stuff, and that totally works, basically stop creating dynamic wrinkles, which is what I was doing by sleeping on my side. So I started trying to learn to sleep on my back. Well, if you haven't done that before, it is not easy. It was a disaster. Uh, and it didn't work. And I woke up, if I even got to sleep at all, I had back pain, I had neck pain, I was uncomfortable, I was not getting the sleep that I needed, and something had to change. So, more experimentation, I finally settled on a methodology that works for me. It has to do with putting a pillow under my knees and all sorts of stuff. But I've done a full video on this about a couple of years ago, I think, so I will put a link for that down below if you want to watch it. But one thing I noticed is that the pillows make a huge difference for how successful this is going to be. <laughs> so last year, I started using a pillow from a company called Sleep and Glow called the Omnia. As a back sleeper, this is the pillow that I have been using and I love this pillow. Now, this is not an inexpensive pillow. It's very spendy and it's an investment piece. It's about 185 American dollars for this pillow. I think it is worth every freaking penny. Pampered Wolf 
has mentioned this pillow many times and my friend Claudia over at Claudia Glows, I really wanted to try this pillow. So I reached out to the company and asked them if they would send it to me. Now I'm very fortunate that they said yes. And I'm very lucky for this channel that sometimes I get lucky with this kind of stuff. And I'm very grateful. They sent me the pillow. This is not a sponsored video and I don't talk about things and I certainly don't recommend them if I don't in fact love them. If I didn't like it, I would have very politely said, oh, it's not for me and you never would have heard about it. I love this pillow. I've done videos about this pillow. It made my favorite products of 2022 video. It's comfortable, but the genius of this pillow is actually not for the back sleeper. It is for the side sleeper because it has a hollow space on the side of the pillow so that when you put your head against it, you're not shoving your face into your pillow, which also causes wrinkles. So I've been using that pillow for about a year. Fabulous pillow. But I was on the website looking around for stuff because I have a lot of other really interesting products like a shelf bra. Is that what they call it? Is that what they call it? It's sort of a bra for your boobs that fits around them. So when you sleep on your side, it's keeping you from doing all the squishy stuff and causing wrinkles, which I thought was genius. But I realized they have another pillow that is specifically for the back sleeper. It is called the Ola. And it's specifically designed for people like me who want to sleep on their back and sleep on their back all the time. So I got in contact with the company and said, would you please send this to me? And they kindly did. Oh my God, this is a game changer. This is the best pillow I've ever used in my whole life. And I am in love with this thing. Now, what is so fabulous about this? Well, there's actually so many things about it. I don't even know where to start. Okay, I'm gonna start with the size. What I did not realize is that when you're sleeping on your back, and even the Omnia Sleep and Go, it, it has a divot. Like it's designed for you to put your head in and it keeps your head kind of nicely cushioned in the center. But what you don't realize is that like, where's your head gonna go? Like it's got nowhere to go. This has sides on it. So it's like cradling your head. So when you start to kind of go a little bit to the side, it's just like, oh, that's nice and cushy and soft. It's absolutely genius. The next best thing is the neck support. It just has the absolute right formation so that everything right here is captured perfectly and it's just tucked in. It feels a bit like you're floating. Hmm, absolutely unreal. Then there's this other thing that I didn't even realize it until the other night that apparently when I sleep, I kind of sleep with my hand. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I kind of sleep with my hand kind of here, apparently. And I kind of do that on both sides. There's actually a little shelf in the pillow that's like almost like it's designed specifically just for Mary's little hand. I, 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 what? This pillow was made exactly for me. So I'm gonna show it to you right now. Okay, so I have a silk pillowcase on here. And by the way, everybody should have a silk pillowcase in my opinion. Um, it is so good for your hair. It is so good for your skin. And you can buy these separately. Um, actually, all the pillows I think of theirs have the silk pillowcases. So I'm gonna take this off and show it to you. So this is what this guy looks like, okay? So there's a big sort of dip here, which is where your head goes, like this. And this, I don't know if you can see it, is the section where your neck goes. And it even has, they call them massaging nodules, I guess. I didn't even know that was there until I was reading the instructions on it. But it has this little shelf right here. Can you, I don't know if you can see this little shelf right here is where my little hand goes when I sleep. This is the most comfortable thing I've ever had in my life. So when you're sleeping, my neck is fully supported. I don't know, it looks ridiculous, but whatever. And my head just kind of turns. Like it's, I, I cannot ex explain to it's you. It's like a big pair of ear muscles. <laughs> <laughs> is it ridiculous? I actually want to take, I want to take this thing with me. Shut up. Everywhere I go, if I could put it in the car, I would. If I could put it on the airplane, I would. This is the, <laughs> they do look like big ass ear muffs, don't they? perfectly formed for Mary. So I, the, I, I started using this about two weeks ago and the very next morning, I don't know, you just wake up and you know you've had a good night's sleep. And I thought, that's really cool. And then I used it for two more nights. And then Gary and I went away for the weekend for my birthday. And I was thinking, how can I take this pillow with me? Now, in the end, I didn't because I know that he would have been disgusted and horrified if I walked into a hotel with that under my arm. It wasn't going to happen. But I was just saying to him this morning, I need to take this to the U.S. If I'm traveling anywhere for weeks, this guy has to come with me. I just need to figure out how to do it. This is a pillow like something I have never seen before. If you are a back sleeper, you need this pillow. And if you want to be a back sleeper, you need this pillow. And by the way, everybody should be sleeping on their back. It is so much better for every part of our body. By sleeping on our back, we have this sort of equal distribution of weight. So you're not putting too much pressure on your hips or on your shoulders or anything else. It also allows for a perfect alignment. So nothing's out of whack. Your head, your neck, your shoulders, 
Am I hitting all those in the right place? <laughs> your vertebrae, everything is in imperfect alignment. It also puts a lot less pressure on her neck and that sort of pressure can lead to tension headaches. So it's just a way of sort of relieving all of that stress. And also your sinuses, you know, by sleeping on the side, you get all this fluid that's moving around. But if you keep everything nice and balanced, that fluid isn't gonna build up. So for me, this has been a no brainer. It has been tricky. It took me a year to get to the point where I could sleep on my back, but now I don't sleep any other way. And this pillow, I love this pillow. I love it. 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 So Gary, we got to take it to America. You just got to figure it out somehow. I think if you get one of those squeezy bags where all the air comes out of it, I can flatten it. And then I think it's going to make it into the suitcase. I don't ever want to be without it. I'm tempted to buy a second one and keep it locked away just in case something ever happens. Crazy person. Bro. That's all I could say. <laughs> and my lovely viewers, you have no idea how many times in a day he says that, by the way, he thinks I'm bonkers. But how's your sleep, by the way, mister? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Who gets seven or eight hours of sleep every night and who doesn't? Maybe you need to try sleeping on your back, babe. Anyway, this is one of those products that I could have easily not talked about, but I had to talk about it. This is a game changer. This is 100% going on my top products of 2023. It's only March and I already know that. This thing is great. Sleep and glow. Keep them coming because these products are fabulous. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you're getting your beauty sleep. Do you have any tips and tricks for how you get your beauty sleep? And we need it as we age. It becomes more and more important. And I'd like to know if you've tried any of these pillows. Um, I think they're genius. If you're a side sleeper, you need the Omnia. If you're a back sleeper, you need the Ala. And don't forget the silk pillowcases because it's just so dreamy. So thank you so much for joining today. And if you like the look of this video, please do give it a thumbs up and leave your comments down below because I love hearing from you. So that's it for today and I look forward to seeing you at the next video. Bye. I want to turn the camera around so they can see you being obnoxious. I'm not being obnoxious. Oh, you're not like making hand gestures that you wouldn't want people to see on camera? Are you? <laughs>